cars, you know I own all the property. Daddy told me, you know I own all the property. You got the shoes. You like the top, but you just like the lose. For me, who could be against me? I guess all of that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflicted. East Coast, the six fours hitting switch. It's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands, deep up in them trenches. It's no difference. Neither one play games when swinging for them fences. We want the final things that, that's expensive. That, that hit them either close range or at a distance. If God for me, why bother? It was once just an idea until breaking ground in November of 2016. And now here it is in all its glory. Spectacular SoFi Stadium here in metropolitan Los Angeles. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Chargers. This will be a touchback. Throwing to start here is Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Well, short of them returning it for a pick six, that was about the worst start you could ask for in this one because your advantage of getting the ball first is gone, and they're set up a short distance from your end zone. Now you're counting on your defense to prevent a touchdown, and your offense, you better be ready to come out swinging on the next series. on first down, Eckler, and only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. This defense for the Dolphins, terrific last week in the season opening victory. It was a little bit of lightning talking with the defense coordinator about their performance last week because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win, but definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. From the 30 on second down, Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. 
and that's why defensive coaches preach swarming to the football. It's usually going to take more than one guy to get that big man down. And it did right there. Multiple broken tackles, but they eventually get him down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Throw it out right complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. We'll get down close to the goal line, but not in, as he'll be marked down at the one. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Good work there, holding him out on first down, and this is going to be a battle down here on the goal line. Can they hold their ground for two, maybe even three more plays? Eckler again, and he's in for a charge touchdown. Austin Eckler with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chargers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Dustin Hopkins on now to add the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7-0 lead. Oh, Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signal for and taken successfully. at the line ready for their next drive and remember the last time out they threw the interception that led to the touchdown so now time to regroup it certainly is and their goal right now is to go back out on the field a calming drive something that takes the ball keeps it for a while lets the defense relax a little bit and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game but this guy is setting the tone early running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels Back to the ground on first down, Edmonds. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. of a yard they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 43. Last play they got stuffed at the line. Different story here over 20 yards. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive. Come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. 
They'll run on first down, Edmonds. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Tua sets up to pass it. Buying time to his left. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. In motion left is Wilson. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Now into a sea of defenders had intercepted. And the Chargers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. If you combine last week and this week, he's got a hat trick going because he had two interceptions a week ago. He's seeing the ball so well and understanding where receivers are, positioning. I mean, just watching him work with such great technique and paying it off by actually catching the ball when he has a chance. He's helping his team in a huge way. The Charger drive about to get going. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. He's settling in nicely here in the first quarter running the football. Remember, he already has the touchdown run. And you can feel the vibe, can't you? He's in unison with his offensive front. They are in concert together. So if you're flipping over to the other side of the line of scrimmage, they've got to be more physical and handle some of these gaps that have been created. Herbert setting up to throw on first down, being chased out left. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. The Chargers at 1-0 and on the year following the win in week one. And they were able to get that road victory in the opener. And now they look to get to 2-0 and in front of the home crowd. And look, any road win in the NFL, that's huge. But when you do it week one, that gets you pointed in the right direction and sends notice to the rest of the league that you mean business. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Williams, the man in motion left. To throw again on second down, Herbert. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Emmanuel Agba that time able to drop him for a loss. It's a lot of discussion in the offseason about him having a big year and getting to the quarterback. They held him without a sack in week one, but how about here? Finally gets his first one of the season. In the offseason, said he changed his diet. Leaner feels so good this year. Excited to see what type of a season he can have. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. Two yards on the pickup there. And that's going to make it fourth down. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points. But then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports.
Brady. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. On second down, this is Edmonds. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Here we go. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Edmonds. And he will have the first down here as he's up to the 15. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. to throw on first down is Tua. And going deep for Hill. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Once more, here's Eckler. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him early to shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And it's caught. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Trying to punch it in with Eckler. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you will too. You're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll try again. And I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want to back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. now. They'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Up the middle with Eckler, and this time he is in. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Chargers go up by two touchdowns. Hopkins with the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. 
Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal for and take it. at the line ready for their next drive they are looking to make a bit of a 180 they are sputtering right now and frankly i think it's time to call your playmakers together and say all right guys we're gonna lean on you through this patch we need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction so you're calling plays geared to them not necessarily what you look at your plays oh this hurts the defense i want the ball in the hands of x y and z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. To throw once more on second and 10. Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Looking to pass to him. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. Come on, set. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Williams loses the football. And the offense will recover, but it won't make much difference here. This will still be a turnover on downs. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense. A little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them. But they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Throwing quickly, and Herbert completes it. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. long it's Herbert and this is caught touchdown Chargers Keenan Allen his first touchdown of the new season and the Chargers take a three touchdown lead so it takes them just three plays here to find the end zone. And you remember, of course, this was all set up by their defense. Yeah, they got the stop on fourth down, so I imagine the offense said to their defense, thank you very much for this great starting field position. And like you said, three plays later, they're in the end zone. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. 
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, CD, you, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but the way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. And if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Two and now on first down. Tyreek Hill's got another one. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. So, so far, little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. And again, it's Tung of Iloa. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. His throw caught right around the six. And the Dolphins are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn up field and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Here's Tua. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Shot from the one on second and goal. They'll try to run with Edmonds. And he'll actually lose a little bit of yardage here. Back to the two. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call. It kind of went reverse a little bit. Threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What we'll play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Ready. This Charger defense continuing to hold the line. Now it's a third and goal situation. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Chargers are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. And the defense shows they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal, they're the huge interception. Think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, 
They were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. Charger drive about to get going. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. It's Eckler again. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he's got his man on the out route. And he's going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. This offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. Back to throw here, Herbert. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. And we all know how talented this guy is. He's calling the signals for him. But even the best in the game, they can struggle against a good, cohesive zone coverage. Can't find a gap in the secondary quick enough, and he ends up taking a sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert, throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. From the gun, Herbert on third down. This is caught by Williams. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for L.A. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Here we go. The Dolphins go. at the line ready for their next drive. Hey. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and ten. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Now a run straight ahead with Edmonds. 
And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there. Now it'll be third down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Tua. Caught. It's Wilson. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although they would have taken it, they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. The punt team on now is from their end zone. They get it away, and it's fielded at the 34. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A very good punt, but a 16-yard return. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-hand blowout material. Eckler, they run left side. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Here's Herbert. It's Williams on the catch. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. On first and 10, Herbert. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's not locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's his second and ten. This is a counter play. Eckler. And he's got Rome. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Well, I'll tell you what, Charles, I know that you don't put a ton of stock into power rankings and things of that nature, but another score here, and two weeks into the season, this is maybe the most impressive team in the NFL. Would you agree? Well, they've certainly sold me as they've sold you, and I agree with you, no question about it. They won easily last week. They're on their way to another lopsided victory here. They're definitely a team to be reckoned with, and they are serving notice to the rest of the league. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, C.D., and if they cannot score here, this right. one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, this defense, they've got the four-score advantage, and you can see why they continue to bottle up the run game, and really they've just been sharp in all facets here in this one, CD. Yeah, they've kept that offense in check the entire game, and I think it's been led by what you just talked about, that defensive front, which has not allowed them to run the football and establish control of the line of scrimmage. Two and now on first down. And he 
it's caught over the middle. Wilson. The result only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Got a man, it's Waddle complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 42. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And my goodness, another interception. Derwin James with a pick. 20. Five. And he brings this one back. It's a big six and a Charger TD. This defense pitching a shutout. Now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal... Good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can do. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Khalil Mack able to record his fifth sack of the season. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Ready? Throwing on second and long. Tua. And going deep for Hill. And now here is another interception. And the Chargers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. But well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems like everything they touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road. 
and helped seal away one of their best efforts of the season. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. On second and 15 now. Herbert, and this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Well, up big here in the fourth quarter, up really big. That passing incompletion, I, I don't think they needed the completion, but Charles, this is an offense right now that they're just having fun. They're clicking on all cylinders. Yeah, you're right. They didn't need a completion. They certainly don't need any more points, but they're not going to turn them down. They're going to continue to run what they have in their playbook and they still want to run it efficiently. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught by Williams. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. On first down, Justin Herbert. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second and two. with it looking to pass and seeing nowhere to throw he chucks this one away from harm incomplete now it's third down well they're up comfortably here charles but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late i mean if anything with these passes it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield and that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach and maybe you and i should attend that press conference and see what he has to say because Someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier. He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up. But he certainly will have some explaining to do. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for L.A. The Dolphins take over first down 10. Their own 20-yard line. Let's go! The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. Just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny. I talked about this with a coach in the offseason and kind of have this scenario, like what feels good to you, what feels good to your team. You're down big. And you really have, like, one possession left, and you're trying to put points on the board that don't matter. But do that? And he told me they actually do matter. And in this situation, he's going to try and run the best offense he can run, have at least a little bit of confidence to take away from that game. So right now, they're going to try their best to get something up on the board and not get shut out. Here we go. Hey. 
two and now on first down. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Gesicki. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one. But this is first and ten right now. Looking to pass. Tua. And boy, another ill-advised throw there as that will wind up incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. That's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Tua setting up shot to throw again. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions. Have a look at it, third and ten. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, that's two sacks in this game, so add that to the four from last week. I think that's six. Good math. Excellent math. And look, he's going to get all the attention he deserves. And he got home and got the quarterback on the ground. But that's a concentrated team effort because you have a lot of guys who occupy blockers to allow him access to rush the passer. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. A final score now from Vegas. And it's now the Bears leading by a couple of touchdowns in that one. If they hold on, a victory there would be their third of the year. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all know people out there who like to use every second of the clock, no matter what the score. And we know they don't need the points. They've scored in abundance already. Let's find out how they want to finish this ball game. step impressive victory so for the chargers it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory 